acquaintance climbing through the underbrush and having leapt tall buildings and small hills and when Nankai Research began searching for biocontrol agents for Japanese honeysuckle, we had no idea what sort of adventures were in store for us. It's, it's not as easy as just flying to Japan and collecting some insects and then coming back home again. Researchers first travelled to Japan to search for Japanese honeysuckle's natural enemies in 2007. Quentin's making a butterfly net. <laughs> yes, he has now made one because you can get the net in your in your case, but not the handle. So we're going to do the um, true entomologist's butterfly net thing. <laughs> we found 15 different insect species um, on attacking Japanese honeysuckle in Japan. And uh, from those, we limited that down to five um, significant uh, insects that we thought had real potential. And one of those was a moth called uh, Aphery qualis. And this moth has these really fantastic hairy caterpillars. They're sort of bright orange in colour. They're really amazing things. And the caterpillars eat the foliage. Unfortunately, the uh, caterpillars aren't um, picking enough eaters and uh, they will eat things other than Japanese honeysuckle. So we've been unable to actually continue doing the, um, the work on that particular insect. So one of the insects that we did bring in is White Admiral Butterfly, um, which we cannot breed in captivity. And we actually brought in an overseas expert, Dr. Bob Platt from the United States, who is um, described as a master mater of uh, butterflies. And we asked him if he could help us to try and hand pair or hand mate these butterflies. But unfortunately, he failed as well as us. We were looking at a longhorned beetle um, and a sawfly uh, that attacks the foliage. The beetle uh, caterpillars feed in the stem material. Um, and we also had a small moth, um, the, the caterpillars of which feed in the new foliage, the new shoot tips. We had all of those in our containment facility here at Lincoln, and then the earthquake struck in September. And in the process of our power outages, and the earthquake shakes and a storm the following day, we had a malfunction of our electrical control systems of our facility, and um, the room temperatures went up to over 50 degrees and managed to kill all of the insects that we'd actually imported from Japan. So we planned another trip to Japan to collect more insects, but then the Japanese earthquake and tsunami hit, wiping out most of our coastal collection sites. This is the one of the places that Quentin had a site at, uh, at one of the bays just up near Ashinomaki in North Japan and um, the bay's gone, the site's now gone, it's all gone. In June 2012, Hugh and Quentin managed to get back to Japan to recollect potential biocontrol agents for further study. We've spent all day looking for limonitis eggs today and we found one. We must have been to 50 different sites. We have been in and out of the car, all up and down, some really horrible windy roads, everything else, and one egg is all we found. Despite the difficulties, Hugh and Quentin did manage to bring back a new batch of biocontrol agents. And with testing on White Admiral now completed, and an application to release being made soon, it's good to know their struggles have not been in vain.